what is going on? We are starting our journey to the hiker's guide to Oahu. And we live here, but we just kind of randomly, sporadically go check out hikes. And he um, is in the military, so we're only out here for a few years, maybe. We kind of want to stay here forever because it's amazing. But I went out and bought this book here. This was at Target and it has a ton of different hikes um, and it tells you where to park and it tells you a ton of different information. So this is the one we're going to be hiking today. This is Coco Crater and this is a little bit different than the Coco Head Steps of Doom that I'm sure a lot of people see. And we'll do that one again. We've done that one probably a minimum of a million times. <laughs> Realistically, probably 10 or 12 times. And we usually do it for sunrise because one time I did it in the middle of the day. Don't ever do it because it's so hot. And you already feel like you're gonna die. Um, that guy right there, that's Coco Head that you climbed at the top. So we are going we are going to the back side and we are going to climb up the crater up to the top. So what we're gonna do is we're just gonna follow along in this book and I'm gonna be posting each one of my hikes and have you guys follow along with me. And then I highly recommend getting this book if you're going to be hiking out here because it gives you some really good information um, what to look out for and just how to be safe because hiking in Hawaii can be dangerous. Especially if you're like this guy. You wanna... I just mean like if you're a little special or... Okay, that's not very nice. I'll probably cut that out. <laughs> I'm not gonna cut that out. This, this is gonna be fun. We are doing it kind of later in the day because we did have some errands to run this morning. But we're getting out there and we are going to enjoy it. Some things that you have to have on your hike our sunblock out here especially if you're not from here you will burn i feel like the sun is a lot hotter out here um so sunblock i like something like this because even when i have sunglasses like the sun comes through and it just drives my eyes nuts so i like having a hat and i have my camelback that has a ton of water do not go hiking out in hawaii without water i've seen it don't do it it's not smart you'll dehydrate and then they will send a helicopter out for you so don't do that this one is going to be going up, so we're not going to be worried as much about mud, but you know, the loose, dry sand and the rocks can be a little slippery. However, if you guys are hiking, it is a good idea to bring a bag to put your muddy shoes in afterwards so you're not like tracking it through your car. Or, and then also a pair of slippers, sandals um, to throw on your feet afterwards. It's always a good idea. Invincible. <laughs> Hike, you guys want to park here at the Halona Blowhole parking lot. It's the big parking lot. Girls, fake tan, spray tan, save your skin.
How was that hike up there, Steve? It's pretty, pretty sketchy. It's pretty tough. For somebody... For me. Well, yeah, speaking for somebody with... Scared yeah, scared of heights, and you did it. I really don't know where to start with this, but I really feel like I need to read this to you guys. This is the Hiker's Guide to Oahu. I got this at Target, and as I explained, we're gonna be going through this book one hike at a time, and we went out to the Cocoa Crater, because this is the first one, and today we're actually gonna go back out and explore a little bit more to try and find a different way, maybe a better way to get up to the ridge because we got to the arch, but we, anyways, I have to read you the history. <laughs> okay, so I don't know who's watching or who knows this, but I have a genetic disease which is causing me to go blind. But, um, so I'm going to actually, what I do is I take a picture with my phone and then I'll blow it up. So that's what I'm going to be reading it from, but it's in this book. So I'm going to take a picture of this and that way I can zoom into it because I'll flip it and then I'll read it like this. Okay. First of all, um, I need to put like a, a rating on this. What would you call this? <laughs> um, adult content. This is not for children. You've been warned. You have time right now to click off this video if you do not want to know the racy history of this hike. The old Hawaiian name for Coco Crater, how do you say that? Kohele Pele Pe? Yeah. You try it. Yeah. Kohele Pele Pe. Yep. Kohele Pele Pe. That is probably not how you say it. Okay. No, you want to read this? No. Nope. I don't even want to read nope. this. <laughs> or the inner lips of the vagina. According to a racy legend, um, the pig demigod, oh gosh, Kamapua'a, Kamapua'a, um, hotly pursued the fire goddess Pele on the big island. It gets better. The goddess Kapo, Pele's sister, detached, this is really, like this is talent right here, detached her kohe, which is a vagina. I want proof right here. <laughs> what did you click on this video for? What are you guys learning right now? Okay and flung it to the East Oahu to divert Kamapua'a. Okay, the trick apparently worked as the pig demigod followed the so-called traveling vagina <laughs> and left Pele alone. The vaginal imprint became the crater known as Ko, well there's that word again, Kohele Pelepe. Coco Head Crater. So, <laughs> what do you say? I mean, Coco Head is an amazing hike, 
but after that history, it's like, how do you not go climb like the biggest vagina imprint probably in the world? I don't think there's one out there like this. So if you're visiting Hawaii, if you live here, go climb Coco Head Vagina Crater. And you've heard this, well actually I do have to credit because I did not do this research. It's this book right here. Anyways, we're gonna go back out to the hike today and we're gonna find a different way and try to get more up. I can't even talk about this anymore because <laughs> I wanna be inappropriate, but I'm like, nope, don't. Um, we're gonna try to get up to the top of the ridge line. Um, but anyways, yeah. So we are out at the Coco Crater Botanical Gardens. This is day two. The first day we took a different route that was in the book up along the crater. And now we are taking this way. This is supposed to have a two mile loop, but I wanna show you guys this way. This is really easy where you park um, down at the entrance. They're always open except for Christmas and New Year's. And so far the hike is pretty beautiful and easy. actually be going up the ridge so I think we kind of failed on that again but we're finding another cool hike we might just be circling around at the bottom of the yes. crater which we're in the crater, right we're in the crater. this is a very different hike than yesterday but it's really it's really cool and it's a botanical garden so it's taken care of they might even bring the horses out here because there was a stable at at front, but the trail's put pretty clear. Anyone could do this trail, really. Hey guys, thanks for watching. If you like this video, please go give it a thumbs up and don't forget to hit subscribe if you wanna see more videos like this. This is the first video in the Hiking Hawaii series. Bye guys, see you next time.